Hello guys, today I want to tell you a story how to debug this situation. For example, if you have bad method call where method does not exist, although you find it in the documentation, what to do then, how to debug. I received this email with this exact situation. It's about filament, but it doesn't matter that much what is the package. It may be any Laravel package or Laravel core itself. The problem is method does not exist. And this is the error that the person saw on the screen. And this is the code, sorry, a bit bad resolution. It's a method called user menu items in filament, and then menu item should be visible or not. And even PHP Storm didn't find that as existing. Although in the documentation of filament, we see user menu items, menu item make, and a bit down below in the customization, you can see visible. So the method exists. And then I randomly ask the person, what is your filament version? It should be version three because they use panels. But I thought, hmm, is there a possibility of that method being introduced in a later version of 3.x? And the answer of that person was that I have filament 3.0.0, which means they installed version 3 in the very beginning and haven't upgraded since then. And I've noticed that quite often, even Laravel and filament, what they do with the docs, they release a new feature in the minor version like Laravel 10.33 or filament 3.1 or filament 3.0 point something, they add that to the docs, but they don't specify in the docs which minor version that feature was released in. That's how some developers are confused why some methods or some properties or some features don't exist because they're using not the latest version. So how to debug that? What I would do in this case and what I have done. I need to find the menu item class in the source of filament, not in the docs. This is where source diving is really important and useful. So docs is just the surface. So you go to the official repository, then you type in menu item, which gives us menu item class. And probably this is what we need. We go here and we search for visible method. Does it exist? Yeah, it does exist, which proves the point that the documentation is correct. So this is the first thing I've checked. And then the second thing is check the history of that file for latest commits. And you can do that by navigating on top and clicking history. And of course, not every commit message will be informative like work in progress, but there is a chance you may find something here, like for example, add ability to hide menu items. This is exactly what we've been looking for. And if we go inside of that commit, it was done on August 5th. And I remember the official filament 3.0 version was released on August the 1st, which means it was committed afterwards. And inside of that commit, yep, we have visible method committed after 3.0.0. And sometimes even here you can see the versions or labels. And this means that this feature was released in 3.0.9, which ultimately means that the person who asked the question need to upgrade their filament version either to 3.0 latest or the very latest 3.1. And then that visible method would appear as they expect. So this is just one example, but on that example, I wanted to show you the thinking process and debugging process. What if you have that error of some method or property doesn't exist, although it is clearly mentioned in the docs. Have you had any situations like this? What was the example of the method or property missing? And what was the upgrade process? Share your stories in the comments below. I also have a few videos where I upgrade Laravel to newest version. So if you're not that familiar with upgrading process, of filament or Laravel or any package, I will put a few links in the description below as well. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.